In this problem, we have a block of mass 5 kilos is pushed up a smooth slope at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal by a force of 50 newtons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to this diagram here. We've got our block of 5 kilos. Its final position is here, 30 meters further up the slope, and the angle is 30 degrees. So it's being pushed by this force of 50 newtons. So 50 newtons. Uh, initially, it is traveling at 20 meters per second. Use an energy method to find the speed of the block when it has traveled 30 meters up the slope. So we're interested in the final velocity v. OK, so it, the block's weight will work vertically downwards. And so that will be 5g. And if we complete our triangle, that will be 30 degrees. And this will be 5g cosine 30. And this will be 5g sine 30. And we'll have our normal reaction force. OK. So with all that information in place, uh, we can now start thinking about uh, putting in our work energy principle. So we've got the initial gravitational potential energy plus the initial kinetic energy plus or minus the work done is equal to the final gravitational potential energy plus the final kinetic energy. OK, so what we can do is we can think about and consider the initial position of the block as being zero meters tall. OK, you can position it at the origin, if you like. Um, I mean, if you, if you wanted to, you could say, well, that's um, five meters high and that's something plus five meters high. You could do it that way, but that's just going to uh, complicate your calculations. So it's easier just to consider this as being uh, zero above the ground. So we can put the initial gravitational potential energy at zero. Now, the initial kinetic energy will be one half times m times v squared. Then we're going to have uh, the work done by the pushing force, which is going to be pushing it for 30 meters. So it's, add, it's putting energy into the system, so plus 50 times 30. And there's no other forces uh, that are working horizontally apart from the weight. OK, and remember, that will be contained within the gravitational potential energy. OK, so we've got the final gravitational potential energy. So for that, we need to think about, well, what is that height? Well, if we think about this as one large triangle, let me just try and draw a little bit more vertical. There we are. Then we know that the hypotenuse is 30. And this angle here will be 30 degrees. So that means that this height will be 30 meters times sine of 30. And that, of course, will be 30 cosine 30, but we're not interested in that. I'm interested in the height, the vertical height that it has traveled. So the final gravitational potential energy will be m, which is 5, g, times h, which is the 30 sine 30. OK. Now, once we've got that, um, now you could also, you know, just also considering, we have the 5g sine 30 there, OK? And that's being multiplied by 30. OK, because that's going to be our work done, because it's the force times by the distance. And that's exactly what we've got there. OK. So that's why that weight component is, is contained within the uh, work energy principle. Plus the final kinetic energy, 1 half times m times v squared. OK, then. So we've got 1 half times 5 times 20 squared 
plus 50 times 30 is 2,500. Take away this. So 5 times 30 times sine of 30 is 75. So 75g is equal to 5 halves v squared. So 2,500 divided by 5 halves is 1,000. And 75 divided by 5 halves is 30. So v is the square root of 1,000 take away 30g. And if we plug in g is 9.8. we get the square root of 706 metres per second, which is 26.6 metres per second to three significant figures.